Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and this is Green Machine Sweden. Uh, the last Friday I attended the biggest uh, tropical trade fair in uh, Scandinavia and I got a few uh, bits and pieces with me from this uh, event. Uh, first up uh, Dendrochillum uh, and we have uh, Mastevalias, uh, one with uh, purple flowers and one with the uh, cream uh, yellow flowers. And I am about to uh, put them up in my preferred uh, substrate now. Uh, this is not the only things I got. Uh, I tend to do a few small videos about all the exciting uh, new stuff I got from the fair. Anyway, let's get into it. This is a uh, part of the substrate I used for my uh, tropical pitcher plants, the Nepenthes. Uh, they were all sold uh, without, uh, without substrate, so I have uh, taken it out. And this is the, uh, the orchid bark and uh, the small pieces of uh, sphagnum that I have uh, sifted out, sorted out from it. And to that uh, I will add, add a good portion of uh, perlite. I bought a uh, mixed size perlite and it has also been sifted out to be this uh, bigger part. I will grow these plants in uh, my indoor uh, tropical highland chamber. When you're growing uh, these uh, plants in a very high humidity, it's important to have a lot of the draining uh, pots in it. It's, uh, yeah, it will keep uh, moist anyway. And it's very important uh, that it doesn't stay uh, soggy for a uh, too long time. So if you grow in different conditions, you might need uh, different substrates. Anyway, I uh, fill it up a little bit in the pots and we're gonna look into the roots of the, of the orchids. I, maybe I was a little bit too fast there telling you they were going to my uh, highland uh, uh, tent, really, the Dendrochillum is a tropical one, so it will get into a tropical uh, environment uh, terrarium, but uh, still very moist environment and the same rules for the substrate apply. Looks like it has been mostly sphagnum moss in the old uh, substrate. Yeah, actually some uh, bark as well. Let's get this, this one uh, into the pot then. So uh, you may wonder, uh, should I or should I not uh, repot newly purchased plants? I would say normally, uh, don't rush it, but I know that I will grow my uh, plants in a lot more humid environment than they were probably used to. And this is my preferred method because uh, it doesn't take so much watering and so much care, they more or less uh, take care of themselves. Uh, the Dendrochillum, uh, I have another one already in my tropical grow tent and it's uh, pulling out fl flowers right now maybe i show you in another video in the future anyway uh, dendrochillum uh, tenellum i think it's called don't uh, take me for exact pronunciations because uh, yeah latin is not my first language anyway this one is done and let's uh, look at uh, one of the Mastevalias. So this is a hybrid Mastevalia called Angel Frost X Muvix, I think it's said. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check uh, closer and uh, spell it out to you in the, in the screen. 
This one had uh, some orchid bark in the bottom and quite a lot of pure sphagnum. It's far too dense for, for my environment. We have really beautiful flowers. Yeah, it has been uh, yeah, damaged a little bit during transport. There's another flower coming there. And that tells me that uh, if I put this uh, plant in a little bit warmer environment to start, I will probably make it uh, throughout a little bit more uh, flowers. With uh, a little bit warmer, that's, uh, it is in my basement, that's uh, 15 degrees Celsius in uh, night and it gets uh, a, a tad above uh, uh, 20 degrees in the day when uh, when the lights is on so uh, this one is going to have a little bit uh, spring in the in a warm terrarium and will be moved to my highland tent yeah in a month or so when it's getting warmer there as well you can see here there's some uh, new growth coming, one a little bit weaker, but overall this is a very healthy plant. So yeah, I have spent 10 or 15 minutes to get into it. It looks like in the middle uh, of the roots there's some uh, old uh, broken down soil. So. Yeah, you never know what you get before you start to work with it. But yeah, I think it's good. Uh, after all, this plant will uh, be divided in a season or so. So I think I have uh, most of the old broken down soil removed. There's some nice orchid bark I will reuse in my mix. And yeah, I have some from the other one. And it's really <clears throat> kind of important to get the soil into and around the root. And uh, there's a orchid uh, and carnivore uh, plant channel that I get a lot of uh, inspiration from. So uh, Mick at uh, Mick Mastervalia Orchids. Thank you for all the inspiration. Uh, I did kill a few before I found your channel. So uh, shout out to you if you want to know more about growing Mastervalias. Please miss visit uh, Mix Mastervalia orchids. So this is one of the tricks I learned from a uh, Mick Mastervalias to hold the plant uh, tight and uh, tap it into the table, and uh, the perlite will settle in between the the roots. So. First wonderful uh, Mastervalia, Angel Fro Frost uh, X uh, Munich. I need to check out what's correct there. So annoying when people uh, have this uh, sloppy handwriting, so it's hard to say what it says. Not that I'm an uh, uh, exception to that, just, it's just that uh, I can read my own one. Let's look at the last one as well. So this one is Mastevalia uniflora. It's a dark color form. And I have shown you the flower already. It uh, hasn't opened uh, properly. I'm not sure if it will or uh, if it's just a uh, one that uh, didn't uh, fully develop. I will know that in the future. It's the same uh, 
setup here with uh, some uh, orchid bark in the bottom and some uh, long fiber sphagnum moss uh, above. I think they grow this one in like a little uh, puddle of water so uh, they need to have this uh, bottom layer of uh, pure orchid bark to yeah, not uh, stay too uh, soggy all the time. So uh, this one uh, really didn't look that bad. Uh, no broken down substrate in between the roots. So I don't need to be that uh, meticulous when uh, removing it and it's good because I don't damage that many roots. Yeah. Really good quality uh, potting mix there so I just add it to, to my mix that will be used <clears throat> at the date of uh, dividing this or maybe in some other project. And again, tapping it, adding some pearl light where uh, it creates holes by, from the tapping. So I think that's good. The roots has been exposed, uh, so it's important to get uh, get some water into it. Uh, now with the conclusion, I can say that uh, one of the Mastevalias really needed new soil, and one didn't need so. But I'm always struggling with. Uh, how to know that for sure when uh, when it's a newly purchased uh, plant so anyway uh, now i uh, have a good quality uh, soil that uh, fits my care and environment now this one will uh, go inside under artificial light and uh, Maybe one day I can show you a fantastic uh, white long flower on uh, this one, Dendrochillum. If you don't want to miss that, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, stay safe, bye!